out to roll on the mound for the Reds Brandon Williamson safe to say he's pretty stingy Chris well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side the pitch Jose Altuve stands in now and watches strike one and there's a rocket into the outfield around first heading for two and his first big league hit is a double Jose Altuve with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Inside, just missed. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect him to swing at. Kicks and deals. Altuve at second with nobody out. Fastball for a strike. And that is cut on and missed. It's two and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Smoked on the ground a second. Rosario tosses the first. One out in the top of the first. Now we check out the Astros lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Next to hit, Gaynor Diaz. And misses inside. And he deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Runner on at third. One gone. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Just off the inside edge. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. One gone runner at first. Jeremy Pena digs in now, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues.
Ball one there. Run around the goal. And a foul ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. The 2 1. Runner on the go again. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner around second into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Jeremy Pena with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Runners on the corners with one gone. Ben Gamble will hit next. The other way. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. Safe. He beats the tag. And they lead by two. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. And now the first baseman. That one misses. Ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one finds the zone. And yeah, the count even at one. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And now two and one. Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one drifts inside. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swing and a foul straight back. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Outside, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. First and second, two down. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Flips the corner and one and one. That one fouled off. Tough start for him so far, already at 30 pitches here in the first. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Astros two, and the Reds nothing. Back here with my pal Singy and towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. And Singy, a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Jonathan India. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Right through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That clips the corner. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Just misses. And a full count now. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Inside ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Now, Ellie De La Cruz. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. India on at first. Nobody out. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's bad. And that is gone. He'll circle the bases, and we're all square. It's 2-2. That's a great way to fire up this crowd. They're feeling it now. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Now the catcher up to hit, Tyler Stevenson. That one in there across the letters. Kicks and fires. In the air, left side. Gamble makes the catch, and there's one down. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base. If they do that, then they can create a whole lot of havoc on the base pass, get runners around the score, and then that's going to get you some good pitches to hit as well. So a very athletic team, and we should be in for a treat in this one. It's not the standard approach that we see in today's game, but it does work for them offensively. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Tied up here in the early going. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Two down, nobody on. A little bit high. And it's a ball and a strike. Yeah, there's the strike. Got 
caught him looking and he didn't like the call. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Top of the second, here's the rookie third baseman, Shea Whitcomb. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. First pitch just misses. Whitcomb getting to start at third, 25 years old, and he was a fifth round pick in 2020. And it's even up. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. That was blasted to the moon. And the Astros jump in front. It's 3 2. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Mauricio Dubon. First pitch misses. The lefty fires. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. France makes the grab one down. Now batting right fielder. Jose. Jose Altuve up to hit here. A double and a run scored his first time up. That's in there. 0 and 1. One out, base is empty. Close, but called a ball. And the count is 1 and 1. And that one missing low. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. On to France. And they get out to Bay for the out. The batter. Two outs, base is empty. So now the Astros' designated hitter, your Don Alvarez. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. That's in there. That's strike one. On the inside corner for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Astros not your run on the solo homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back here in Cincinnati, bottom of the second. Now it's the Reds' DH, Jake Fraley. Verlander back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. Fastball for a strike. And a count one and one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. 
no doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Caught him looking for the K. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Next pitch is outside. Just missed. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Back there. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. They must be going crazy in the dugout. And this game is tied. It's 3-3. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. So one out, nobody on. Digging in, Will Benson. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And that skips in the dirt. Here's a one two. On the ground to the left. Fires across the diamond. And there's two away. No, he didn't recognize change up earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Down the third baseman. And that one off the outside edge. Two outs, bases empty. And that one fouled off. Falling behind two and one. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Got him, and that'll do it. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. We're tied now with three apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Great American Ballpark, top half of the third inning. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yaner Diaz. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Good eye in that spot. And a pitch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. High in the air, out to right. And it's caught for the out. And now, Jeremy Pena. And he's already singled in this game. 
Pena's dad played in the majors for seven seasons, spending time with St. Louis and Cleveland as a second baseman. Jeremy has a little more power, though. Only needed two seasons to pass his dad on the career home run list for the family. Foul off down the right side. On the ground. Can't glove it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here's Ben Gamble. He's 0 for 1. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. And a big swing and a miss. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next offering is down low. Good eye right there. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Ben Gamble with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And here's the first baseman. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Houston. Score remains tied at three. And we're back, set for the bottom of the third, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jonathan India. The right-hander back to work. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Next offering misses down and away. The 1-1. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Jonathan India with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. He's already homered here in this one. There's a strike. And the pitch. Rudder takes off. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Altuve reaching back towards the wall. It bangs off the wall. Oh, the throw is over his head. Now second and third and nobody out. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. Golden opportunity right here. 
boots it. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. Well, you're definitely looking to do more with that opportunity at the plate. Two runners in scoring position, but at least he puts the ball in play. They bring across one run. Still one out there to pick up. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. And he'll one. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Breaking ball inside. And it's one and two. One away with a runner at third. Here in the last half of the third. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Whitcomb drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. The first baseman, number two. Ty France, the next to hit for the Reds. Struck out looking his first time. And that one fouled off. De La Cruz on third with two out. Next one misses. And the count even one and one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Two outs. And another ball. On the ground, right side. Dubon to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Three innings complete. It's the Reds four, and the Astros three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Jake Myers. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Friedel sizing this one up. Falls it in for the out. Here's the third baseman, Shea Whitcomb. He's already homered in this game. Ball one and a pitch inside. Wouldn't chase that time. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. That one ripped. Friedel going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Oh, wow. 
Mauricio Dubon getting ready to hit. He popped out his first time. Just missed. And it's one and one. Two down, nobody on. That one misses, and it's two and one. And there's a foul ball. Two outs. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Astros are down quietly. Still down a run. It's 4 3. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's the DH, Jake Fraley. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1 0. In the air, left field down the line. Fair ball! Jake Fraley with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. At the play, Ahmed Rosario. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Rudder at first with no outs here. And now it's even up. Verlander moved to first. Fraley back in on a dive. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Righty delivers, and there's ball four. Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. Will Benson, the next to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Yeah, the right hater deals. And there's the strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Hunter Brown appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Presley also throwing. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. Out of line, out towards center. And he makes the catch. Runner tags at second, and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Now the third baseman. Struck out looking in his first at bat. 
He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Two on, one out. To short, could be two. To second for one. And that's two. They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Reds four and the Astros three. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve measures five feet, six inches, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Just missed. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Sam Mole loosening up for manager David Bell. Martinez also getting ready. The 1-0. Right through there for a strike. That one missed. Two and one now. And that's a strike. That's down and in. The pitch. Line drive, Adam in center field. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. That's one way to quiet the crowd. And we are starting over. It's 4-4. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Base is empty, one away. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. And a foul ball. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The pitch. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're in the top of the fifth. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Pena replaced the great Carlos Correa as the Astros' starting shortstop, and he's proven to be more than capable at the big league level, Boog. Instant impact guy. He's the only positional player to be named World Series MVP as a rookie in the history of baseball. And that clips the inside corner. Hit in the air, center field. Friedel going back on this one. He's got it. And that's the third out. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. All even now at four apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. 
Back here in Cincinnati, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Jonathan India. The wind of the pitch. And a pop off right side, foul territory. One away. Now batting, shortstop, Ellie. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. In the air to left center. On the move. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Man, is he fast. That's so fun to watch. So up next, Tyler Stevenson. And that's in for a strike. Tough spot right here. Quick inning, two quick outs. You got to be patient, but you also have to be somewhat aggressive to not miss your pitch early in the count. That one outside. Ball one. fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center that's back there and it's off the wall and that's a double Tyler Stevenson with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Next to hit, T.J. Friedel. And that one fouled off. And the strategy of winning a ball game when you could make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up left hand batter waits fought off foul Stevenson on its second with two down foul ball still low and two Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. And another ball. That just misses three and two down. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. They all pitch. Goes down looking. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Tony Santion. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Here's the left fielder, Ben Gamble. And a pitch. And downstairs. 
Movement in the bullpen. Sam Mole, the left-hander, up and throwing. Martinez, the right-hander, loosening up as well. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Go ahead run on base. And now the first baseman. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Tied at four. That one pulled foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss struck him out. And the batter now, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. There's the strike. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. That misses the zone, and the count is one and one. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Benson on a dead sprint, racing back. Makes the grab on a leaping play at the wall. Well, that would have been huge if it would have snuck over the glove to take the lead, but great athleticism at the wall. Goes up and brings back a homer. Shea Whitcomb up next for the Astros. One for two. First pitch misses. With the go ahead run at third, and we're the top half of the sixth. Two outs. Line drive. That's a base hit. In to score from third. And it's now 5-4. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Here's the second baseman, Mauricio Dubon. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Bottom of the six. And now Ty France. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. 
And that one is inside ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Brian Abreu, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Valdez, the power lefty, up as well. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is 2-0. Now a pop up on the infield. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. And now the designated hitter for the Reds. Jake Fraley. That clips the corner. That one ripped, but foul. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. That one ripped left field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw is high and over his head. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Verlander done in this one, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Hunter Brown. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time. You get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Now it's going to be Ahmed Rosario. And fouled off. Righty to the plate. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. With the tying run at second here in the bottom of the sixth. And the righty deals. That's inside. Ground ball left side and foul ball. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still like waves at the bender for the strikeout. Oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard and it gets plenty of bite on the end. So two down now, and here is Will Benson. That catches the outside corner, going one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Well struck deep right field, way back, and out of here! A towering shot, and they slide in front in the sixth. It's 6-5. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot.
High velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter, but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body, gets through this pitch. What conviction in that swing. Awesome job at the plate. Here's the third baseman. That one a little bit high, and that is ball one. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Right-hander kicks deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it hits the base of the wall. And into second easily with a two-out double. Jonathan India at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Man on second, two down. Right through there for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. Runner at second, two down. Outside low, ball two. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. That's out to center field. Myers makes the grab. And that will end the inning. Cincinnati plates a pair on this homer. It's now 6-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Top of inning number seven, and now the right fielder, Jose Altuve. Santiago back to work. There's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Looking to get the tying run on base. There's a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Dives, but it's off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. Just barely able to beat that one out. Man, he was giving it his all getting down the line right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Sam Mole into the game on for his Major League debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. 
He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. First and second, no outs. And now, Yaner Diaz. That's in there. Strike one. So the tying run is second, and that one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Oh, he can't hang on. As an outfielder, it can be easy to take it for granted that you're just going to catch that routine fly ball because you do it over and over again. You feel like you could do it in your sleep, but it doesn't take a whole lot to screw it up. Right there, I think he was looking ahead to making a strong throw back in with the runner tagging and just didn't look it in all the way. Pena in the box now. Take strike one. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Hammered. Could be extra bases. One runs in. A second scores as well. Headed for the plate. He's safe. And they clear the bases. And they lead by two. Bases loaded and he drives them all in. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. New pitcher for the Reds, Nick Martinez. This is his first appearance of the season. Number 28, Nick Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now the left fielder, Ben Gamble. There's the strike. Man at second. And strike two. Here's the 0-2. And ball one. And that's a little bit high. Two and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Base hit. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And here's the first baseman. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Ground ball to the right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He gets to the bag in time, but a run does score in the play. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout.
Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. Gamble over at second, one down. That's the third, and that chance handled. And there are two down. Down the third baseman, Shea Whitcomb. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And that's in there for strike one. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Now one and one. The pitch. That one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top half of inning number seven. In the dirt, blocked. He's in there. Gamble up to third on the wild pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And that's in the dirt. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Mauricio Dubon to bat next. Two outs. Line drive, base hit. The run scores from third. It's 10 6. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. So next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. That to right. Benson puts it away, and that'll do it. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Astros 10 and the Reds 6. So digging in, Ellie De La Cruz. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. And a pitch. In there at the knees. 0-1. Well, these Reds, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. It's been a real team effort. Already seven extra base hits, so that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. The shortstop takes the ball. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. One for three. That's in there. And that's strike one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout.
Righty delivers. And that skips in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Swings and misses. One and two. There's a swing and a drive. Over the bullpen and out of here. Home run. And they close the gap. It's 10 7. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. New pitcher on now, Taylor Scott. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Base is empty with two away. Ty France, the next to hit for the Reds. That misses the zone, ball one. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. That misses. Ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. On the corner for a strike, and the count's full. The wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Fraley in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. That's the third. They get the force. And that is the inning. Reds get one back on this solo dinger. It's a three-run game at 10-7. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Emilio Pagan. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And a pitch. Altuve in now, takes ball one off the plate. Here comes a pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. Wouldn't chase that time. And fires in a fastball at 95.
foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Right handed reliever. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And here it comes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three, two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Rose to second, in safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. So, man aboard. Next is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Fastball for a strike. Altuve stands at second with no outs. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. Hard ground ball base knock. Around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by four. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Man at first, Yainer Diaz. Up next for the Astros. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Pagan measures 6 feet 2 inches, 210 pounds, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. The pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. And he chases that one. One down. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Pena, batting with one down, takes a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stay out of that double play. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Alvarez around second. Around third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Buck Farmer comes on now. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And now it's going to be Ben Gamble. Three for threes, double twice and single. And a good eye there. And another ball. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. That one finds the zone. 
Now two and one. One away with a runner at third. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Base hit and a run in to score. Comes through with the RBI. That can be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the first baseman. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. And now it's even one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Fernando Cruz up and loosening in the pen. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's the strike. Out towards right center field. On the move to the alley. Benson grabs it on the run. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. And now Jake Myers. 0 for 4, a couple of flyouts. He's also grounded out and struck out. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. In there at the knees. The Strohs up big in this one, and we're in the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. Astros lead it 13 to 7. Back here at Great American Ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Ahmed Rosario. Scott back to work. Outside low. And that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Brian Abreu up and throwing. The 1 0. Wouldn't chase that time. And the pitch. And a foul ball. And it goes just foul. Three balls, two strikes to count. He goes down looking. Will Benson digs in now. That one's in there. That's strike one. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. That one close, rule the ball. Gonna count one and two. And another ball. 2 2 now. And there's a ball. Oh. 
foul ball and it remains a full count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's the third baseman. That's in there. Strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Comes up empty. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. And the right hander deals. On the ground to first. He steps on the bag. Three up, three down, inning over. And we're back. Down the third baseman, Shea Whitcomb. And the right hander back to work. There's a strike. Going oh, two now. Ball one there. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and two. The pitch. And it's filled up. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. And it's fouled away. The Astros up big in this one here at the top of the ninth. Softly hit to third, and that's just foul. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. That one down the line, and foul ball. On the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. Astros lead this one 13 to 7. Brian Abreu takes over on the mound. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Jonathan India. And he deals. Pitch misses. 1-0. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. 
ball to strike. And that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. The 2 2. Struck him out looking. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. De La Cruz in the box with one away as he takes ball one. The Reds with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of inning number nine. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next offering is downstairs. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off two and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Stevenson in the box now, no balls and a strike. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hauls it in for the out. Two away down. Up next in Cincinnati, the center fielder, TJ. So they're down to their final out. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, TJ Friedel. And that's downstairs and outside. And a foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Close, but called a ball. And it's two and one. The Reds down to their final strike. De La Cruz off of first with two away. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Coming home. He scores 13 to 8 is our score. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Next for Cincinnati, Ty France. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now the count is even. And 
Now one missed. Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here. Fouls one off two and two. And a pitch that one not close and that's ball three. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Fraley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Ground ball to short, and this ought to do it. And that is the ball game. Well, Boog, I can think of prettier ways to get your first win on the mound in the majors. He'll have some work to do after the blown save, but a win is a win. Congrats to him on this career milestone. 13-8 is your final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.